Thanks for joining me today. My name is Giancarlo Paolek. I'm an editorial and commercial photographer based here in Toronto, Canada. There's no denying that I'm a die-hard car guy and I also love motorcycles. So I've always wanted to do a portrait shoot of a bike builder. For that, let's meet our subject. Bram, there he is. How you doing? How you doing, man? Doing well, thank you. So this is Bram from? Straighter Chrome Customs. Today, the story's on him. I want to show the gritty side, the real side of a builder. And having said that, I'm going to explain to you the workflow and the process in getting the shot. From the lighting aspect of it, to the photography and the technical side of it, and even the stuff in between that makes the actual shoot happen. Come along. photo shoot there's a story and the story for this yes is on Brem the bike builder but what I want to share is the work and the craftsmanship that he puts into each and one of these bikes in particular cafe racers that he builds for his clients all that though is a means to an end the end being his prized possession and riding out in it here we are inside Bram's garage, and I'm with my wonderful team to make this happen. We have Sam here, and then we got Martin. So we have the bike here, and our subject is Bram in the back corner. Even though Bram is great here, the space is really tight, and we have some, some very serious uh, space constraints here. So for that, the setup is very simple. I kept things clean. We have two lights. We have a key light, and then we have a fill. So what we've done is we've gelled it here, and that itself is to add the atmosphere and the fill, and you'll see later on. And the main light, or the key light, here we have the Bron Color Series L with a 65 centimeter beauty box, and this is not gelled. So this is the key, which will illuminate him, and then we have the fill with that light pipe and gels, and that will be for the fill in the background. The final piece of the puzzle, we'll tell you later on, we're not gonna show you now, but that in itself will add more to the mood of this bike build portrait. All right, so for the gear for this shoot, uh, I'm gonna be shooting with a Canon 1DX, 24 to 105, and the Tether Tools Tether Pro cable. This cable, plugged into the laptop and tethering to Capture One software, allows me to see everything in real time, thus building the shot as we go. We are dealing with two lights here and a bunch of different elements inside, so I wanna know what everything is doing specifically, but we see everything live here. One of the major benefits of tethering. That's what's better. Okay. Yeah, okay. that I like. I like the way this is going. I like the look of it, but it seems a little flat. It doesn't really tell a story. Bram is a great subject, but again, you're not getting anything. There's nothing moody. There's nothing dynamic or dramatic about it. But I have, I think, a little surprise. I think one thing that might make it better. All right, so that secret hidden element is Martin just on the other side of the bike with a fog machine or haze machine. Now that haze, when it's hit or back illuminated with a gel light, creates a little bit more of an ambiance. So for the second shot, we're gonna have Bram in action. And there's nothing cooler in my opinion than seeing sparks and the grindy wheel and him just going at it. For the setup, we're keeping things very simple. Again, as a reminder, we're in a really tight, confined space. So for this, we're using the same light modifiers that we had before, we just move things around. We just finished the second shot, and now we're moving to the third shot, which is a little more casual. It's, he's now working on the bike, doing his thing, uh, and from there we'll move on to the outside and finish this up. So that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the workflow. And to just reiterate, tight spot, we end up using just two lights, very simple setup, because what I really wanted was to just evoke that mood of that builder. And Brian did a fabulous job. The team did a great job. Thankfully, having my tether tools here helped because it allowed me to build a shop progressively and see what 
things are happening. What looks good, what doesn't look good, what needs adjusting. And the only real way to see that is through tethering. Every LCD screen is cool and it's tiny, but seeing a big screen and working with a great team collaboratively really gets the job done.